Hello everyone, my name Flare Blitz and welcome back to Boy Achiro's Modesty. How's it hanging, my friends? A scrap of paper has fallen here. We'll pick it up. We'll absolutely pick up this will. Uh, oh, you're chasing after us. Okay. And there's blood on the wall now. Unless the blood has always been there, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Let's see. For so, father, mother, forgive me for going on ahead first. Okie dokie. That is not a good thing to have on there. No parent should bury their child. But then again, no child wants to bury their parent. But by age, that is how it goes along. Hmm. You. I don't want anything to do with you. I don't think two bone pieces are enough to restore this thing. Hello here, seems like this mirror can be taken off. Okay, we'll take off this mirror. This definitely has something to do with the mirror mystery, but oh. Well, hi. I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever it is that you're doing. Don't attack me, please. Hopefully you won't, it doesn't come in here, whatever this shadow is. Please don't come in here. I was supposed to have a wife and kids, but I'm 17. Doesn't bolt down well. We'll open the door. And the fiend is no longer here. Excellent. We can only hear the sound of the toilet itself again. Lovely. Save up and then do whatever it is that we need to do next. This room is always tormenting. Like, what are we meant to do here? Surely, at a later stage, we'll find out the answer to that. It could, could also be the last mystery where our, well, not our, but the, um, the cult council president said something weird about something like that. A curious memo here. M.T. What would M.T. stand for? Definitely not Missing Time, the wonderful horror visual novel. But I don't think it is anything that is not important. So it has to be important in some ways. You disappear if we go near you. And the futon is lukewarm. Like if it's been slept in it recently. But do you think a ghost would emit a lower body temperature in that case? So therefore the most it would be is lukewarm. Rather than, you know, warm. What's like along those lines? Oh dear, it seems like an artificial flower. Phone lines me cut. A rotten odour emanates from here. The drawer door seems to be stuck or something, so it won't open. Oh dear me, that's no good. That's no good whatsoever. Okay, we read it. A student brought a dog here, crying and begging me to take care of it, since there's no help in it. I custody of it. Its yelping is so loud and annoying. I hate dogs. That's me talking in the game, not me talking as me, by the way. I love dogs. How will I torment it today? When I'm looking at that student snuggling up close to it, I associate a student with the dog in my mind. If only that can see a student and this dog with no ability but to wag its tail could all just disappear. I was bitten by the dog. Damn dog. Where should I hide the dog's corpse? Right, that place should be fine. Let's devise it so that it can't be opened. Great, isn't that just fantastic? Aren't you just the best of people in the whole wide world? Like... When I say the whole wide world, I mean the best person that is not even best, we're going to say. Because a person like that does not fit under the, per the, the titles of best. Best is for something good. But you're the best person for keeping people away from you who love dogs. Hmm. Okay, let's use a bundle of keys here. Okay. Wait, this is a science room, right? So this could be the room which we need to use... Um, a certain bully's name or something like that. Could be along the lines. I'm not going to try it out yet, but I'm just going to save up. And then we'll be able to perform this. Right, so that is that. Hmm. Was it this floor's? No, it's not. Well, it wasn't that floor. There's another floor's mirror that we need to put into place. Or not, you know. Just don't go into another dimension or anything like that. Use bundle keys here on the second floor. Hi there. 
Hope you're having a good time watching that static TV. Let's look in here. Perfume. Hmm, nose sensitive. Oh. Why did you have to go and do that? I was just going to have a lovely conversation with you. You would seem he doesn't want to have a conversation with us, so that's why that was a thing. Oh, dearie me. How dare you do that to me? Do you know who I am? I am the one who put us into this scenario in the first place, so therefore I should be the master of this place, not you curses. Like I'm the one who allowed you to be here in the first place, or maybe we just transported ourselves to you in the form of the school as a template to put these curses around. It said to mention of a said name three times, so it wouldn't be an item because we can't wield a person. So... Let's go from last to first just to see. There's three names, or the same name three times. If this doesn't bold out well, then we'll surely be incinerated. Name again. Oh. Hey, that kind of did it. As Atsuko's sand was sealed. And we've got a scrap of paper in this place. A scrap of paper is full on here. We'll pick it up. It looks like, yeah, I thought so. Part of a will. Hmm. So we got that, that one's first. So then this one. I will be reborn to walk a good life in the next. So that's the last one. So we need a middle piece. Phone! Who's calling us at this hour? And how do we get phone signal in here? Hello? Hi, Chihiro. It's me, but... Are you alright? Ah, uh, I'm muddling through. Don't worry. Are you hurt? No. That's great to hear. Be careful. Since I'll contact you again. Right. You know, actually, she doesn't even know where we are. So, so, so you know, if we could just come down the flight of stairs twice, we'll be able to see one another again. There we go. I'm a, I'm a careful, I'm a careful boy. Blood on the trash can? Discovered fumer from the bottom of the trash can. That wasn't there before, was it? Like, I don't think it was. I think this is a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to put the mirror here. And, ah, lots of pretty colours and all that. And we disappeared. Okay, so, bit of advice. Don't put the mirror up. And I don't think you could also escape to the door as well, since, well, the bathroom door was locked or something like that. Or if we try to activate a door or a door... But it would just say, nah, you're not going anyways. You're going to disappear to the other side. Hello there. Ugh, look at all this blood. I might just throw up even by just looking at this. Oh, gosh. Somebody had too many vindaloos. And then I have vomiting blood. Oh, gosh. That's, that's actually quite disheartening, to say the least. So I think inspecting this was the next step forward. Footsteps here. Empty. Okay, so that was a the note earlier but except now it's given us a guide that we should have looked at that looked at that looked at all that and this place is still got that no other clues besides the stain on the wall there and the weird lighting to be able to depict what's going on yeah just not a huge amount else probably some more blood required Now this phone's got blood on it. He didn't have blood before, but at least it's now at least we now know where the murdered have gone in this case. Or just one of those that were murdered here. Oh nah I no I don't want that. I and mean, we do don't want that, okay? I don't want to follow the blood for Steps. I think we're safe before interacting with that. Just so that we have some caution. Okay, they go over there, but we don't want to go over there because of the bridge girl. Do not want to interact with said bridge girl who occupies the staircase on the left side of the building from the first to the second floor. Okay, that one's always there, though. 
What's up with this then? Okay, Crow. Carrion Crow. Raven. Jackdaw. You keep chanting that. I'm not too sure what's meant to be going on here, but... Whatever it is, it's quite interesting. How they can recite the sound of a bird quite easily, I'm not too sure. Hmm. Well, there's that. What else? Help you. A voice inside a cardboard box. Okay, we'll open it. No one here. But there is a minus driver in here. Okay. What can we do with said driver? Let's turn to reddish brown. Oh dear. No freak. Oh dear me, no freak. Wrench it open with a driver. Okay, we'll do that. Oh. It was the doge. Oh, it is. But do zombie dogs in the darkness dragging on its internal organs it comes closer. You mentioned something about smell, so perfume might be the best option. Is this something a female shouldn't have lost? I don't know. Let's out growl. Hmm. Is in agony. Ick, we'll keep doing this. Uh, wait, where'd it go? Where did the perfume go? Maybe our option now is to attack or something. Action. Attack. Hmm. Dodgy attack. Is in agony. Yeah, you bit me. Uh, yeah, that happened. Got the first thing right, but what do we do after that? Okay, now we're fleeing. Okay. Woof, woof. Ah, uh, that wasn't the best idea. We need to go to another angle then. Maybe one of the other doors would have been a better option. Put the mirror here. Oh. Crouch. No dodge. <laughs> that would be much better. You know, get out of the way while the dog is charging towards us. Dodge. And you go into there. The zombie dog was sealed. And we should... We should have taken off the mirror. So that then... We won't get sucked into the other dimension as well. And died there because the zombie dog would have been there too. Remove the mirror. Excellent. Now the colours will no longer affect us. We're not... Another phone call. Hello? Ah, sure, it's me. Oh, Tuco? What is it? No, I just thought, if you're alright or not, please call me sometimes too. My cell phone seems to be out of range for some reason, so I can't use it. Eh? Aren't I talking to you right now like this? Please don't say that too much. Besides, it gets scary. Yeah, then I'll contact you again, Ichiro. Be careful. Right. Yes, how on earth is she able to make contact with us if we can't make contact with her when it comes to phone calls? Ichiro? Ichiro? Turn around. Well, we should not have turned around. And now we need to do that mirror again! For goodness sakes! Oh! What the heck is going on with these shoe covers all open up at once? Something can be seen from over inside. Oh, we found the wheel! Hell yeah, we got the third and final, well, the second piece, but we got all three pieces now. Don't do that to me! So, the second one says, I've grown tired of living in this world. Nothing! Have we all grown tired of living in this same world filled with weird and wonderful things? Okay, go back here and we found another body part. 
Excellent, that will be handy for the body part demon or what? Bell. Shut up. How do we encounter that scene again where we get told to turn around and stuff like that? That is no good whatsoever. Um. Yeah, there's. No, I don't want to turn around. Don't turn around. I'm not going to turn around. You cannot make me turn around. Not this lifetime. Sorry, lifetime. Not ever. No turn around. Never turn around in a horror game, by the way, guys. If a voice tells you to turn around, do not turn around. Because they want you to be in a false sense of security. What's all this blood here? Around this board? It's a scribbly drawing of two people showing an umbrella. That's romantic! Two people showing an umbrella. Close to one another. Holding hands. I know, senses and all that. Some happy sounding voices can be heard from the classroom. Eh? No way. It's true. For real. For reals. What? Well, it is hilarious. Kiha. <laughs> What's going on here? There's nobody here. Besides his tangled hair. That's all there is. Unless, of course, there's a clue towards what happened to one of the victims here. Goodness sakes. Goodness sakes. A misleading clue there. Excuse me? This was not here before. Open it. Why not? And found soccer ball. So how was that possessed in any way, shape, or form? And that soccer ball was not there before. Maybe it was locked, but somehow it became unlocked. And then that played out. Damn these events. Okay, I think we should be able to face you and just present to you the three wills within order. So, attack. Item. Now I need to use... Oh yeah, we still got that mirror, don't we? Um... So... Okay. I need to present these in order. Used will. Okay, next one is... I've grown tired of living this world. And then last is you. And that does it. There we go, the hanged boy was sealed. The three sheets of the will disappeared like sand. As it should. As it should. Next one, or maybe we uh, get a phone call again. Yep, we do get, definitely get a phone call. Hello. It's an update. Hello. <laughs> well, hi. Hope you're doing well. These calls are perfectly timed as we come out of a room from um, uh, dealing with one of these demons. And how dare that break? How dare. Excuse me? Tuko, Endo Senpai? Where did those two go? Well, shadows. Don't like these little shed D dolls. Don't like those shadows. Computer screens, stuff like that. Um, I think the definition of trapped is what we are here. What? Something happened. Oh, this place is. What the heck did I... And who are you? You are... Ah, I am Sasaki Ichiro. Ichiro can. I was certainly in the room... The library room. Saved by you, right? Saved. The seven mysteries are angry. They are coming to kill you. I can no longer help you. And you just disappeared. Who the hell was she? Exactly, who was she? And how did you know my- uh, Actually, we said our name, so... That cannot be a surprise. Okay, so the footsteps started from the classroom. But what the heck is going on here? I'm not investigating that until I'm able to save... The game. Oh gosh, it looks like somebody was badly beaten up there 
Ooh, his sound cues. Okay, you're... You're there. Ask about where the hell were you two earlier? What? Who was that girl earlier who saved us? Maybe she spawned them there. And therefore, it would, looks like it would be like that. Okay, this locker. Let's open it. And... Yeah, okay. Word of advice. Don't go into that locker. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, don't. Damn it. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> Very funny, though. Like, the devs in this game can be kind of similar to me, sound away, where it's just some of the most silly, trivial, B-rated horror movie sort of things where it just happens like that. But at the same time, it is kind of funny. Like, you just look out the window, try to see what's going on, and then a spirit comes along and pushes you out the window, and then you fall to your doom. Blood from water supply. There's a sparkle in there, though. Maybe that's just the blood pouring out. Oh, no. Oh, dearie, no. So we've got five bone pieces. So we've got the scalpler, the hermerus, the fuma, the patelia, Well, I thought I had five. What? Maybe it's just four. Time then for you. Don't know why I thought there was five. Looks like there's four. Right. Is there any particular order which we, these things need to go in? Like, I don't know, a particular order which these things need to go in? Your shoulders hurt. Hmm. Shoulder, arm, shoulder, arm, leg, knee. Maybe it's like from head to toe sort of thing. Your arm hurts. And then leg, like upper leg or something like that. Your Oh, your knee hurts. Damn it. Um, your knee hurts. And then fumer. Oh, my body, my body. And the specimen was sealed, hell yeah. And come out of there and a phone call. Yep, another phone call. Is it going to be a spooky voice this time? Maybe it was always a spooky voice. Hello? Ah, Chiro. Tuco. What is it? C quick, come to the library, please. Did something happen? We'll talk about the reason later. Please just come as soon as possible. Understood. What the hell could be happening here? Well, we are on the third floor, so... There's still a place like this. That door was not there before. Otherwise, I would have investigated in all that jazz. All that jazz. All that jazz, okay. Something along those lines. I don't know. What do we do in a scenario like this? Right. Okay. Hi. Make a record first, and then talk to you. Achiro. Tuco. What is it? Did something happen? Uh, I... Yes. Come along with me to the bathroom. Huh? So, come along with me to the bathroom. Jeez, don't make it so, make me say it so many times. Is there a bathroom immediately right over there? If you could ask Endu Senpai for something like that. No! That person only keeps on saying strange things. Hmm. Totoko, what did you... So please, Chira, come along with me. I might just wet myself soon. All right, I'll come along with you. Oh, jeez, at this kind of time, there's no help in it, is there? Yeah, of course. Fine, the bathroom's right there. You can't go anywhere, you must absolutely wait. Understood, since it's absolute pinky promise. Jeez, no confidence in me. It should be just fine like this. Yeah, then, since you promise. Don't peek, all right? Why would we want to peek anyways? That makes no sense. We're going to hear screams, aren't we? Yeah, she's taking a while. A real long time. Go in. Look, okay? You're taking too long. You Maybe you're not even in here. 
Exactly, you're not in here. What the hell took you so long? Hmm. Something happened to you. Year 2, Group 1, Sasaki Yashiro Camp. Please come to the staff room immediately. Um. Staff room? Why do we need to do that then? This is the staff room, right? This is definitely but Well, something happened. Tuko and she was in there. Hmm. Game over. Yeah, game over. So we should not go in there at all. At all, at all, at all. Let's just wait it out. Call out her. Tuko, still not done. This is strange. Call out to her one more time. Tuko? Could it really be... Could it really be this? Could it really be that? Is she stuck in one of these? Is she stuck in one of these? Maybe she's not even stuck at all. Exactly. Nothing's happened. Regardless of what we do... Yes, and we'll get announced. Repeat. Yep, yep. I need to go to the staff room. So, regardless of what we do, we're just boned from the get-go. Maybe she does not even need to go to the toilet. First instance, she does not need to go. There we go. And then she's in there. And then we get... Yep. Nah. Okay, so, word of advice. Don't let her go to the toilet. At all. At all. Or, now nah, I don't think that would even make a difference as well, like, needing to go in, well, need to stand around and just wait for one time, like, we went in immediately, but then the other time, we didn't go in immediately. Oh, ow, Tuco? Really, what is it so suddenly? Ichiro, what is it? Thank goodness. What for? Tuco, yes. Next time you go to the bathroom, I will come along with you inside. But not like that. You... Not like that! I was scared for your life, you know? Sasaki can, your face is red! What happened? Nothing particular. Look, you. I thank you for coming along with me, but... Achua, you lurch. I'm not like that kind of person! It's called a friend, okay? A friend to look out for one another. Oh, dearie me, I'm not... Who pervert or anything like that who goes about looking for that kind of stuff. No, 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 no. hate it when that kind of assumption is just at the forefront of everything. No, I just want to make sure that you're alive and well. Isn't that too much to ask? Fine, we'll open this door. Where could this lead to? Try going in, why not? Why did I think that anything else could have been in place? <laughs> Who'd put a door there in the first place? I'd like to report this to one of the builders of this school to put such a stupid thing in there. User's ball, hopefully it will follow it. Use soccer ball while bouncing the soccer ball rules down the stairs. Bridge girl's eyes follow the soccer ball and we should be able to then push it down. Just trying to buy a soccer ball. Attack, and you dodged it. What about the mop? I can't hit. Maybe again? Ah. Um, why do you need to use it more than once? Like, you've already thrown the soccer ball down there. You might be smiling, but I'm gonna get you eventually, you goddamn demented one with four legs. Or maybe you're just standing on your two arms as well. Follow that. I'll push him down the stairs now, but you're distracted. Push a good boot, go down the stairs, and sealed. Obviously, that was a vein. Moving on, in our lovely day here. Not going to be possessed or anything like that. Okay, up the stairs, up the stairs again, going to save the game, up, oh. Tuco? Yeah, she went, 
Sasha Khan, are you alright? Didn't Chico just leave with you for a moment ago? She did not. She did not leave with us. She left with another that looks like us, probably. Hmm. Where could one be? Well, hi. What are you doing up here? Ah, Chiro. Y you are the real one? Yeah, I'm an imposter, all right. Thank goodness. Right now, a fake Chiro was about to take me up to the roof. I thought something was strange and desperately tried to resist. And then the real Chiro came. You're not hurt, right? Yeah, I'm all right. Oh, that's right, Chiro. Big news. The engine doors opens now. We can go back. Really? Yeah, it definitely opened when I investigated just a while ago. You... When did you ever... <laughs> I haven't just been waiting the whole time, you know. So let's go back home now. Hmm. Unless it was the face... Uh, a fake Tuco. Hmm. Yeah, that's not even open, for goodness sakes. What is up with this place? So that seems weird. Wait, you. You are a Chirikan. Wait, who is it? A Chiro, do you know her? Please don't go back home yet. Huh? This person, what is she saying? A Chiro, let's go back home already. Hmm. Go back home with Tuco. I'm sorry, I'm already going back home. Let's go, Tuco. Tuco's not even here. Oh. Well, Tuco ends up like that. Um, Tuco died right before my eyes. But Tuco should have been right behind me, disappeared. Even though that couldn't have happened. Even though the fiend of Tuco's hand I grasped in mine was still remaining. So that is what you would call an ending of sorts. Oh. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh dearie me. And the lightning keeps striking with the credits. Yep. Lightning does keep striking with the credits. And some of the names are in red. What is the meaning behind all that? Project. Creation Neko Furoshiki and Tuko soon I will also be going there with you. Ouch. That's a that's again an end. Damn. That's no good whatsoever. One of the phone calls was very disturbing because it wasn't her that responded to us, it was some kind of demonic sound. So, at that point, this Tuco was with us has been the fake one for, for a little bit. Ichiro, I'm sorry Tuco, I'll believe in this person. That's... How terrible! Ichiro, how terrible of you! How terrible, terrible, terrible... Yep, and you're fading away. Fake one. This is the key to the roof. Take it. And save that person. Please wait. Why are you helping me? You resemble him. Your name, your face, and even your voice. Uh, senpai, our two will be going now. Great, thanks for that. So we need to go to the rooftop and save our friend. Who is trapped up there by some bean? Something along the lines? Hmm... How do we go about this? And here... No! Don't come! Hi. Floating thing. Is that the rooftop Tsukika-san? Achiro! Tuko! You... Monster! Don't come any closer! Achiro! Well, you're floating, aren't you? Comes close to dripping blood. So how do we go about this particular battle? Cover for Tuco? Prepare oneself? What do we do here? The hell thunders out there. Cover for Tuco? Spill some blood? Don't you dare go for Tuco! Achiro, if you want to kill, then kill me! Achiro slowly closes his eyes, raises his hand. Achiro, 
Stop already. Please, stop already. I I'll tell about it all. What happened that day? And why I called Senpai up to the roof? I've always, always liked Senpai. That day, in order to confess to Senpai, I called him up to the roof where nobody ever comes. The door to the roof was locked, so I snuck into the staff room and stole the key to the roof. Senpai was still in the middle of his club activity, so I eagerly awaited for his club to end. And then at that time, that thing appeared. The soulful ghost that inhabited the roof. When I saw the ghost, I was so shocked, and by a heart attack, I died. And then afterwards, a tragedy happened. When Senpai came to the promised place, to the roof, that ghost possessed Senpai. And Senpai... This roof is cursed. The person who is possessed by the ghost becomes the next ghost. And would then continuously, continuously wait for the next human to possess to arrive. All that time alone, for several decades or even centuries. I was the one who should have been possessed, but I died by the heart attack before that. I was the one who unlocked the door to the sealed roof, and for all that, it's all my fault. I wanted to help Senpai, I wanted to release him from the roof's curse, but for some reason, I couldn't get close to the roof. But since the Jirokan sealed the Seven Mysteries, I was able to make a hole in this Academy's sacred place. Senpai, now we'll be able to go. Let us go together. And then they go. Suki Ko mm, Moonchild. Well then, isn't that just invigorating? <laughs> Achiro, Achiro, Achiro! You're the real Achiro, you're the actual real Achiro! Yes, it's alright now, since it's alright now. Have those two gone to peace? Surely they have. So it's over now, isn't it? Is it really all over? Yeah, everything's been, been neatly taken care of. A happy end. And so, and so, don't cry anymore. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear him. Gosh, it's raining out there. That's right. This tale truly ended with a happy end. The roof was released from the curse and there were no more jumping suicides from there anymore. I've also never heard of the much rumoured Seven Mysteries talked about anymore. I carried my feet over to Endu Senpai's classroom. And... Sasuke can. So you're really going to join the Occult Research Society for me, huh? Yes, since I promised that time. <laughs> you're quite honest and consensitive, aren't you? Cons whatever that word is, and so... I do have to acknowledge your greater expertise at Kokori-san. How about next time? Why don't we two try Kokori-san together? That would be great. Definitely, please. But please at least just re refrain from calling forth for Seven Mysteries. <laughs> okay, acknowledged. Yes, because we don't want to repeat all that again. Endu Senpai is, gen is generally a strange person, but... But I was finally able to get a Kokori-san buddy which was my dream for the longest time. My life is definitely going all well. Thinking that, while in a festive mood. I was caught on my way back from the classroom by Tuko. And... Ashiro! Tuko? What is it? Ashiro, the roof! Let's go to the roof! What for? Listen, I just want to go. Come along. You're not going to have a heart sack then when we go up there. After the incident, we then became free to enter and exit the school's roof, and it flourished with students who gathered there with curious eyes. It became particularly popular between lovers, and to the act of confessing love on the roof, boomed quite a little, sorry, bloomed, no, bloomed, a little at Yasumai Academy. This might also be thanks to those two, to Achiro and to Sukiko. Sukiko. However you want to pronounce it. I'm not good with Japanese names. 
No matter when you look at it, the view from this roof is superb. Isn't it just because you don't climb to high places very much ordinarily, so it seems quite curious? Jeez! Hey, Chiro, look at this! And... Uh, you. When did you ever take a photo a picture like this? <laughs> because I'm a genius photographer, something like this is really easily. Really now? You seem to be one doing quite fine lately. Mm-hmm. Hey, about those two. Could they be happy living in heaven now? Ah, uh, surely they would be. Hey, Jiro. Mm -hmm. I also, um... Would it perhaps be fine to go along with a trend? What is it? Yet again. You see, I... Ichiro, I... You love him? I like you the best in the whole world. Ichiro? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yes. I also don't dislike Tuco. Don't dislike? Now, I might also like you, perhaps. Perhaps? No, I like... Like you! I like you, yes! Really? You idiot. Ah, cuddles. They're not going to be whisked away, aren't they? Whisked away into heaven. The curtain now closes on my tale of the strange seven mysteries that I experience at the end of spring. Next, along with the rays of the sun or the beginning of summer, it seems like a different sweet experience will be brought to me. The curse academy of before no longer exists here. This academy is now overflowing with hope. That's not the whole story, but I know. It's filled with despair and all that jazz. And that, folks, is a boy Achiro's modesty. Very modest of you at the very end there to dot around the question and then be like, okay, I don't dislike. I like you, perhaps. I definitely like you. <laughs> oh, just building up the tension at the very end. But it's a good fun little game. It's a bit frustrating at times, and I feel like most of the time you need to refer to a walkthrough in order to actually get through the game. So that's what those two hands were. It was about the two that essentially made the game as it is. Like, if it wasn't for that single instant, then this curse would not have been brought about and the seven mysteries would not have manifested. Ah, <laughs> What is it with these romances? Particularly school romances. Usually the first is always going to be the one that is going to be, you know, the hardest one to cope with and all that jazz. All that jizzy jazz. Maybe that, maybe I could have selected a different word there. Jazzy. There we go. That's much better. Gosh, it's raining out there. No thunder, please. And this is... Aha. Uh -huh. So, 8th of June, 2008. That's when this, that's when this game was completed. I can only imagine so anyways. But thank you all so much for watching, guys. This has been Boy Achiro's Modesty. I believe that was both endings of the game. Because it was a bad end where the main character joined Tuco soon. Because of his feelings for her in that, in that regard. But thank you so much for watching. See you all the next time of a video source. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves.